Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to um, set up a domain on the VESTA control panel but where you are providing your own DNS, okay? Um, again, this is where uh, you are providing um, your own uh, right? So there's two versions. One, you've got your own DNS, like, I mean, you, you're, the company you've purchased your VPS from, like, let's say DigitalOcean, okay, uh, they have already given you your name servers, like NS1, DigitalOcean.com, etc. Well, here, we are going to create our name servers, okay, and we're going to create host names, okay. And then we're going to configure them in our VESTA control panel. Okay, so I have another video where uh, your the company you're using is providing you with DNS services, right? Okay, so first let's come over to our host. I'm to our registrar. I'm using um, uh, GoDaddy, and here I've got this domain University of Ubuntu. I'm in DNS management. Now, it's very important. You can see how it says using default name servers? Okay, we need to get to that point, all right? If you, if right now your domain is set to use uh, custom name servers, you need to change it to default, okay? Because first, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna create, you see this here? It says host names. We need to create some host names, okay? Um, and what we can do, we need to get our IP address. Okay, I copied my IP address. Um, and we're going to click Add. Okay, we go here. We're going to NS1. Okay. We're going to put in our IP address. And we're going to save it. Now, this may take a while. All right. This may take a while. Um, and it means that this video may go a long time. It, oh well, sometimes it goes quickly and sometimes it takes a long time. Well, there we go, good. NS2, we're gonna put in our IP address again. So we wanna remember this, okay. So, um, So what we're going to do is now we remember ns1.universityofbuntu.com, right? And we have ns2. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come over and we're going to now put in our custom name servers. Okay, now we have some new name servers that we can use. We're going to go to custom, okay, and we're going to put in ns one University of Ubuntu.com and NS2. University of Ubuntu.com. We're going to save those. Okay, features may be available while we process your updates. Um, now you can see there, oh man. Um, it should be updating them using custom name servers. But, okay, so here we are. Um, we want to click on web. Click on web and whoops, where are we here? Oh, it's still waiting. Okay. Now, add web domain. Okay. Okay, we hit advanced options. Yes, we want DNS support. Yes, we want mail support. Look, it's already got our alias for those people who type in www. Okay, now we may need to do this again. Okay, we may need to do this again. We're gonna click SSL support, let's encrypt. Okay, now I've done this a bunch of times, you guys, and I've done it a bunch of times successfully. 
And sometimes I believe it's due to the fact that these records haven't properly updated when the SSL certificate's created. We may need to do it again. Okay, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so now we want to come over to DNS. Okay, now we're over here. We say University of Ubuntu. We want to go to add a record. Okay, and the record is um, NS1. Now we can see over here NS1, University of Ubuntu, type A. Okay, IP or value. No. Okay. Come over here to DNS again. Add a record. NS2. Okay, we can see that there. Alright. It's an A record. Okay. Now, here's something a little tricky. We come over to web. Okay, here are our domains. Okay, our domains. Here's University of Ubuntu, right? Um, well, no, 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 so I'm sorry. We come over to DNS, right? We come over to, here's University of Ubuntu, right? Now it says list, now we're gonna list our records and you're gonna see something. It's a little bit strange here. We need to, we need to modify this, okay? So it shouldn't be this, okay? I don't know why it doesn't seem to update, but every time we need to do it this way. Um, okay. Now, we come over to DNS. Let's list the 14 records. Now, we can see that's changed. Now we're gonna come over and we're gonna do this. Now, we're going to come over here. Um, you can see, oh, what's happened here? Okay. So that is what I thought might happen. We'll do this. Um, now, again, remember how I said this might take a while, right? It might take a while. I may even have to do that one again. Um, but let's see. The key is that not all of the records update automatically, right? And so I will discover um, that sometimes, I've discovered that sometimes um, you need to wait a bit, um, but usually it, it will take place within about 15 minutes. Um, and I'm gonna try one other thing here. Um, because right now, um, the SSL certificate won't properly install unless all of your name server records 
are in order. It will wait. So there's a gateway timeout, whatever. Um, and we'll do this one. And what I'm going to do, we're going to do something here, just a second. I'm going to do this. Uh, watch this. We'll be okay. 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 Now, I should have to log in again. I think I will need to log in again. So we need to be very, very, very patient. Whoopsie. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Now you can see I'm over here. I'm actually connected through Taiwan. Okay. Now, let's look at our domains. Okay, let's look at our domains. Okay. Yeah, it says that the Let's Encrypt. Yeah. I don't think, well. Yes, there we go, bam. Okay, so it is installed. You can see we have our free SSL certificate. Another thing that's nice is this. We can access it. We've got our alias. Now, another thing, this is also very good. Maybe we just want normally. Some people will enter our domain into their browser, but they won't uh, give it the HTT P S right. Okay, you guys. Hey, uh, please like this video. Click the like button. And another thing I want to say to you. Okay, don't give up on Vesta quickly. If it doesn't, and they're not paying me anything, so I'm not. I'm just saying that I've tried a lot of control panels. Here's the thing, you guys. I understand. Be patient with yourself if it doesn't install properly the first time, okay? Um, you, uh, based on your system itself, okay? It could be CentOS, Ubuntu, whatever, um, the version. It Because of underlying um, configurations within your operating system, you may need to make some changes. Uh, I have found that usually that's the case whenever you're dealing with installing software, okay? So be very patient with yourselves. Take it step by step. And okay, now in the next video, I am going to show you um, a few other things. Uh, I don't know which order I'm going to publish these, so I don't want to say the exact topic chronologically, right? Chronologically. It may be something I, I don't want to anticipate which one it's going to be. Okay, see you.